good man we reacted to inside the ohio town invaded by cat cat eating haitians i don't know what that means either you eating them or you're not but if you new smash that like button smash that subscribe button if you're not new welcome back gang let's get straight into this man there was Haitians in a white van driving around the neighborhoods, collecting cats, skinning them, and eating them. In my opinion, they're worthless. Much of worthless fucking sense. They're getting thousands of dollars in government assistance. Even the did you personally see them skinning the cats and eating them? Because if you just going off a rumor that you hear that you heard they did. Then that's that's wrong of you to, to say something cards. like they're this. Calling them the magic money cards because they never run out. Uh, man, they're nothing but a headache. All they're doing is raising our rent and our taxes and, and wrecking vehicles. Everybody wants to make this into a race issue. It's not a race issue. It's, it's culture. It's accountability and it's respect. Since June, they took me off. Of, I'm a vet. They took me off of the disability. You're a veteran and you're competing with some of the resources they're getting. Yeah. Just came in here. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I don't like about. I'm going to go ahead and let it play out because I don't, I don't even want to talk too much. This is Springfield, Ohio. What was once a small town in Ohio home to roughly 60,000 working class Americans until 20,000 plus Haitian immigrants flooded into town with rumors of them eating the neighbor's cats and local geese. <laughs> what did you do? Why did you kill the cat? Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? No, why would you kill it? They're eating. Come on now, don't. Don't don't play that clip, bro. Cause now you damn near insinuating that they eating cats, and still that's a rumor until proven as a fact. Show me a clip or some of it being factual, and I'll believe it, bro. Other than that, stop doing it. Eating the dogs, the people that came in, they're eating the cats. They're <laughs> eating. They're eating the cats. <laughs> causing car accidents left and right and driving locals out of the... <laughs> Yo, just because Trump said it, bro, does not make it real, bro. They believe rumors just like everybody else, bro. Everybody... <laughs> homes Come on, uh. Above market rental prices with Come welfare on, Trump. subsidized uh, by the American man, what's taxpayer. Going on with Are you? these Haitians eating cats? How did they travel 2,000 plus miles from Haiti all the way to Ohio? And do the locals and their new Haitian neighbors get along? I pulled up to Springfield myself to see if this was real or... Of course not, because it's a change. Nobody in the world likes change. If something was to happen to America... You know, knock on wood, because I hope nothing ever, you know, in, in, in my lifespan or my children, 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 children lifespan, you feel me? Just ever something, you know, happened in America. But, you know, it's, it's damn near bound to happen. Because Rocco stop. And we have to go there to, to, to Haiti. You know what I'm saying? They will feel like, oh, man, we got all these foreigners over here where we at. You know what I'm saying? They will look at us funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, what y'all doing over here? We don't want y'all here. Same scenario, bro. Nobody likes change. For overblown fake news. A lot of this is alleged because I truly don't know what's going on and neither does Twitter. Twitter is relying off of a few images and a few Reddit threads. And there are rumors that Haitians are taking neighbors' cats and eating them. He say, she say. So you can't just say stuff like that, bro. Um, are you from Haiti by chance? Yeah. Does everyone get along here in Springfield? Yes. Good? Good. Motherfuckers are worthless. Much of worthless fucking sand. Yeah. When did the Haitian neighbors come and move here? See, he said everything going good in the neighborhood. He ain't got no problems. He walking around chilling. So this is stuff that they, this is how they feel, but they not even telling them how they feel, bro. They just sneak dissing. <laughs> they and that bitch just sneak dissing. Yeah. I'm going to say probably five months ago. Okay. But I spoke to a few of them in French. They're everywhere. They're up there. Don't wave at me, you sorry fucking sand. Oh. I tell them like it is, fuck, man. I don't like them. I don't like them. And I, I... Never mind. Nigga ain't sneak dissing. <laughs> I thought he was a sneak dissing, bro. He about that shit. He say, fuck it, nigga. I got guns. <laughs> I want I want him to know I don't God, like you're... Pack up and move back to Hadyville, where the fuck you're from. Why did you come here to Springfield? Okay. Okay. Um, do you plan on living here for much longer? Yeah. 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 I heard there were rumors of Haitian. He said, hell yeah, nigga, y'all got grass growing. Y'all ain't got 
people just randomly hunting us down with AKs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it look, it looks sweet out here. Cause our slums don't look like y'all slums. Y'all slums look like paradise to us. Different, you know, different cultures. You know how they live. Eating the neighbor's cats and a Canadian goose. Is that true or completely false? No, 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 man. Okay. 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 Oh, so he's saying, like, in Haiti, they do that shit. He's saying, like, it's possible. I, I've heard of things like this happening. Like, I'm not saying it don't exist, but I don't know about it. Okay. We've lost a whole That's bunch crazy. of cats. Uh, there was a van load of a uh, van pulled over that had over 100 cats in it with the Haitians. They said they was eating them. Actually? Yeah. Not fake news. Not fake news. So a van was watched, collecting cats and I eating watched, them. I watched that happen, yeah. I watched them get pulled over with the cats and admit to the police that they was eating them. You're not joshing with me. No, I'm almost 50 years old, buddy. I don't, no. Nah. You don't mess around. No. Twitter is saying. Man, so you was at the scene of the crime. It happened in front of your house. You just heard about it and you like, oh, no, no, this is real. Like, you can't believe, you can't believe everything you hear, bro. Saying the Haitians are eating cats and can't <laughs> drive. Is that true? <laughs> True or no? No. No, okay. No. I believe it. Like, I've heard rumors about them taking the geese. All rumors, bro. This is all he say, she say, bro. Stuff that you really can't believe because it's coming from people that probably already don't want them there anyway. You know what I'm saying? So. And killing them and eating them. So I try to stay clear away because they, I've even heard about them eating the eggs of them over there. So I'm like, okay, that's kind of disturbing. Probably not. There is. This is your guy right here? Uh, yes. Okay. So far, so good. I haven't had no issues, but they kind of know us. And are they chill? They're all right, I guess. I don't pay no mind to them. You know, and they're right. So they chill, because they, they don't pay no mind to you. You don't pay no mind to them. Y'all just coexisting in a way. Every where They take our fucking apartments. The landlords make the people move out so they can rent to the Haitians to get more money. You know, it's bullshit. You know? Yeah, see, I don't like stuff like that, bro. Now, that type of stuff will piss me off because you raising the rent up because you know this is government funded. So, you know, you're getting the money, whatever, whatever the cost is, you know, you're getting it. That's wrong, bro. And there's people that's probably been living there for years, bro. You know, you go to the grocery store. There's no fucking groceries. Cause, you know, they give them $3,000 a fucking month plus food stamps. I'm an American. Yeah. Just like $3,000 a month plus food stamps. Bro, what? That can't. This gotta be rumors, bro. There's no way that this is real. Like I know they get they get great benefits since they've been here, but that can't be real, bro. You yeah. and these motherfuckers come from Haitianville, wherever the f they're from, and they get everything. They get <laughs> nah, I didn't think it said Haitianville. What the fuck is that? <laughs> they get their f they get wait, wait, is that a real place? <laughs> Medical care paid and everything, you know, it's, it's bull. Where did they get the money? The government. You know what's crazy, though? It's some people that was born and raised in America that don't make 3000 a month type shit. Or if they do, they really slaving for that shit. Like, I ain't gonna say slaving. That's like a crazy word. That's not slaving, but they like working long ass hours for that shit. For real, like a lot of hours. To, uh, for like migrants, like asylum seekers. Yeah. Asylum, yeah. Okay. I mean, they're, they're like roaches, man. Yeah, I get along with them as long as I he 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 personally just don't like them. That's what it is. That dude personally do not like him. He don't care for him at all. He just he liked things how they was. It's different now. He's mad. They don't go pulling their crazy machetes when they're out mowing their grass with it. Have they brought out mach machetes? Oh yeah, they. Yeah. That's how they trim their yard. They. Actually? Yeah. Like, it surprised me they let them all in, but I think that if they're going to come in, they should be legal and not illegal. And I don't see why they're giving them all this money and everything like that when our people are the ones suffering for all this for them coming in. I'm That's true. Everything is up, bro. Everything is up, bro.
I'm getting ready to be homeless. Except I'm getting ready to sell my house because of the Haitians. <laughs> you think a Haitian will move in? Yeah, they're coming Wednesday to look at it. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Lock in, lock in, lock in. And when they buy this house, we'll both be out here on the streets. We ain't got nowhere to go. Yeah. We're going to fix the income. Are Haitians paying rent? Are they paying their bills? Are they being paid to live here? They're being paid to live here. I don't see why they'd have to pay rent if they're being paid to be, be here. Who's paying them? The government. Okay. And that's, mm. that's our biggest issue, too, is... They're taking our schools over and they're running the Americans out of our own countries, it feels like. This this country has gone to hell. Twelve mother that live there, and there's another seven or eight that lives right here, here in this corner house. And, it, door, yeah. and four of them just moved in here. They ain't in there. Do you think yeah. you'll sell the house to a Haitian family one day? Hell no. I wouldn't give them mother to sweat off my balls. Well, they'll be giving you money so you can give the, the government whatever they way. Give me a million, I'll move right now. You feel me? Like, put a put a reasonable, of course, price tag on it. And get up out of there if you feel that way. Man. <laughs> I'm, I'm for real, man. Yeah, he, I, get it. I am f***ing sick of it. You know, I don't give a f if they put a Haitian in every f***ing house. I'll be the only white person here. Uh, Twitter is saying that Haitians are kidnapping the neighbor's cats and eating them. <laughs> Is that true or false? <laughs> I, I gotta ask the hard questions here. <laughs> they is laughing. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's all he say, she say, bro. You cannot be listening to the internet. You know how much false news is spreaded daily for no reason? Just to see if what catches, bro, it's crazy. <laughs> No, 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 no. Why is everyone coming here? I sent Vinicius to work, but we ate chat. No, because we didn't eat chat. No, chat. No. If we need to come, we eat chat. We go to Walmart. We buy it, but we eat chat. I sent him to work, but chat. Okay. Why did you leave Haiti? I went to Haiti because in my country, there are some people who have problems politically. It's going down right now over there, bro. Just Tomasa, why did you leave? Go and type in what's going on over there, and they will tell you why they left. Barbecue, civil war. Like, I don't know if any of them just have a problem, but it's déplacer mais on pas qu'on a nom de ce soir qu'a fait ça OK OK so just family and friends told him to come here to Springfield could you ask him that Yes his friend I see OK merci OK OK I don't need cat OK if I I don't need cat See how that trash can is right there Right there yep OK every Haitian house you go around it's honestly filled to the brim there's trash that leaks out onto the corner okay. Bro, so that mean the garbage people need to come a lot faster, bro. <laughs> they need to do their garbage routes twice a day then. You feel me? They need to give them garbage people a raise, man. Everywhere, but we're expected to live clean environment. Sure. And then on top of that, with the rise of immigrants. Bro, you talking about clean environment, the bottom of your door is dirty. <laughs> Obviously, people kicking on the damn door. Like, what are you talking about? And they get assisted living freely. It makes it harder for people like me or somebody else who doesn't get assisted. But I understand what she's talking about when she say clean environment. I'm not trying to pick on her. I'm just saying, though, you got to understand these people have to adapt. You have to give them time to adapt to the culture because they have come from a different place. And it's a lot of them in them houses. So, of course, the garbage is going to be piled to the top. Like, realistically, like. Not to troll her, of course, but I'm just saying realistically. Just to living to find affordable housing. Are they driving the housing costs up around here? Yeah, yeah. like nobody. Big time? Yeah, like. What are we talking? Okay. Um, honestly, in my opinion, yeah. it'll be a surprise if I don't get kicked out so they can boost up the rate on this place. They'll probably fix it. I see get it where it's looking better and boost the rate up on it they pay 1200 a month how much money does the government give you per month oh so oh, so they pay they pay 1200 a month so that means she probably got to be paying right now right there probably around seven eight something 900 maybe pero el first time me doy como 
Um, primera vez te pusieron como 500. Damn. Ok. Y segunda, 300. Ok. ¿Cuántos Haitians uh, vive aquí en uh, las aquí. dos años? No tengo un mensual, pero yo nuevo por ahí. Ok. ¿De dónde eres? En Haití. ¿Haití? Sí. ¿Cuántos meses vive aquí? Tengo dos meses. ¿Dos? Sí. Did anyone tell you to come here to Springfield, Ohio? Sí. Did a friend tell you to come move here for a job? How did you learn about Springfield? Yo tengo mi padre por ahí. Oh. Okay. Oh, he chilling. He said my mom and dad and I'm already then then slid. I know it's sweet out here, bro. <laughs> How much is it to rent an apartment here in Springfield? How much do you pay for rent? Pero todavía yo no pague, pero yo vivo con mi padre y mensual cada mes 700. Is anyone eating? Ah, oh, they said they only pay. Wait, 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 wait. So they getting money. They said they getting three thousand. That's what they say. I don't know for sure. They getting what five hundred the first time, three hundred every month on um on uh food stamps, and they bills only seven hundred. Damn, they got to be stacking hella bread, bro. If they don't come through, they better come through buying land or something. Cats out here. No. Okay. Falso. Falso. Falso no. información. Okay. Do you know many other Haitians here? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, big community? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. And why mm. are so many Haitians coming here to Springfield in particular? Ça vient permettre que les autres haïtiens qui viennent. C'est la raison qui fait les haïtiens qui viennent ici. Ok. Um. So, what, 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 what kind of work is in Ohio? What y'all got, like, factories? Y'all got a lot of factories or something? They did say they was bringing more jobs back, bro. So, I don't know how true that is, but I don't know how many factories is in Ohio, bro. Thank you. Also, if you want to support our boots on the ground, independent journalism that is not bought and paid for by corporate interests, along with uncensored early access to all my videos before. Load. Go subscribe. Have you lived here? This one. How much money does the government give you per month? No. Avant, oui, maintenant. No, avant, j'étais comme bon pour le moment dans ma travail. Ah. Ah. Is it true that the Haitians are eating the neighbors' cats? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying, bro. That shit is not real, man. Information false. Well, well. Okay. Uh, do they not collect the trash? To Shaklins. You're my father. Okay. Why did you leave Haiti? Yeah, like garbage days is like once, whatever route you own, you only get one day that week. So if it's a lot of them in that house, like I say. No, I'm not going to la vie, but I'm not going to go to la vie pour ça I'm going to Ah, okay. Merci beaucoup. All right, bye bye. We got a cat right there, unaffected. He's chilling, not eating. It's ridiculous. They yeah, can't I mean, even take I'm, care of the yeah. American citizens before they're bringing in waves and waves of immigrants. And then look at it. There's so many people, veterans, um, mostly white people yeah. that are homeless, living on the streets, has nothing to eat. But these people have brand new houses, brand new cars. I'm having... A yeah, like, like I said, man, I do not like the fact that they are like uh, prioritizing, you know foreigners than like the american people that's been here like it's vets legit out here with nothing and they didn't serve this country that i don't like that bro a hell of a time finding a job because they want the haitian they're getting thousands of dollars in government assistance i worked re they said something about the wages they paying them is lower though like that's why that's another reason why they getting a lot of jobs i think because the wages they paying them is lower way lower so they getting a lot of money they building a lot of money back up off them retail before i lost my job back in april when i do transactions i can see what comes across on certain cards i'm not trying to be nosy i don't want to know what you get but when a haitian comes through and spends 500 dollars in food stamps and still has five grand on their food assistance card, five grand five grand would you like to know what the haitians are calling the food assistance cards or tell even, me even the cash assistance cards they're calling them the magic money cards because they <laughs> never run out i'm homeless the magic money card. They probably never run out, but it depends on what they buying. If they buying $500 in food, right? And they buying a bunch of stuff that's going to feed them for a long time. Then, of course, it's going to last a long time. And then uh, every month, 
you still gonna get that food stamp assistance. So it's gonna keep building and building and building. You know what I'm saying? I'm jobless. I'm sleeping on friends' couches because I can't get government assistance because I come from the wrong country, apparently. Y'all get along mm. out here or what? We don't. So and see, and that's where the division come in. At. I, I'm not going to lie. I fully understand. I fully understand everybody that's that's mad about what's going on, bro. Because there's a lot of American people that can't get stuff that they need because, you know what I'm saying, everybody else getting helped out. But I don't know. Socialize working that much. I don't know, man. I mean, what could you do? They down the street. They do their own thing. That's it. You know, we yeah. keep... I, how long you lived, lived out here in Springfield? Oh, I've lived in Springfield all my life. And okay. I'll be 60 in two weeks. When did all the hate Oh, man, happy birthday. About five years ago, maybe. Okay. And when they packed, they hit this neighborhood hard. Why? Hmm. Outrageous rent. They went through, they painted them, cleaned them up a little bit, rent them to them. And they pay their rent. I heard on Twitter that cats are getting kidnapped. Is that, that yes. true? Yes, my mom actually... You're laughing. Seen, my mom actually... Oh my goodness. So everybody see it but the Haitians, man. <laughs> we seen a post on Facebook. There was Haitians in a white van driving around the neighborhoods collecting cat. For what? Skinning them and eating them. Snyder Park, our actual park. If a Haitian is caught walking the grounds down there, they can get arrested because they're going down there and they're killing the Canadian geese so they can take them home and eat them. I wouldn't mm. be surprised though because we used to have a lot of cats around here. And especially down here at the end of the street, that lady had probably 50 of them. Now she's lucky to have five. And <laughs> Yo, that's not funny, but what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Yeah, that shit is not funny, bro. But and, damn. Uh, the geese. Look at the cat face. Like, man, don't put that camera on me, boy. You making it hot. <laughs> you making it hot for me. Down at the park. They're declining. So I don't know if they're eating them too. I guess it's supposed to be their natural habitat or something or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mine. Do you think this could come? See, that's what I'm saying. He kind of understands, though. He like, I guess it just must be something that they do in their culture or something. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? They might just be like, shit, you... you Whatever you kill, you can eat. Whatever you catch, you can eat type of shit. That might be how they living. You know, so we don't know. Come to another American town near you? This come everywhere, man. Yeah. It's the future of America? I hate to say it, but probably so. The Mexicans take it up for the blacks, and the blacks taking it up for the Mexicans is odd. Interesting. My country's going to hell. And I can't wait till Trump gets back in there. 90% of the auto accidents are Haitian involved. Okay. And I've almost gotten hit by several of them walking because I walk a lot. And that's what a lot of them probably don't know how to drive. They probably wasn't driving back home. Not saying that they don't have cars out there, but I'm just saying like a lot of them just walk everywhere or they ride bikes or something, mopeds or something. So a lot of them ain't driving cars. They're going the wrong way down one way streets, like, and they think they own the streets. And when they got chased out, he hit the curb. <laughs> when they got chased out, she heard one of them say it and it was Probably actually in English. Up. Look at them, just blast it off. What the fuck? They've, they've knocked down my- Oh, damn. <laughs> and she explaining it, bro. Okay, maybe they is out there fucking shit up, bro. <laughs> maybe they is, bro. <laughs> My grandmother's fence. Bro, I'm not trying to laugh, bro. It's not funny, but damn, bro. As she explaining it, though, it's crazy. Yeah. That brick wall back there, they've grown yeah. into it. I... Uh, they've hit cars around here. I mean, they cannot drive. Whoever's giving them driver's license ought to have theirs taken on. But look, every time some a country moves into another country, talk about we're taking over, that shit leads to war. 100%. Like, when you have... Bro, wait, 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 wait. So they having this meeting and this nigga is next door. They talking about them and this nigga is next door listening to him. Hey, they really into it. They don't give a fuck, bro. They ready. They ready for whatever come with whatever, bro. That's crazy, bro. But I'm not going to lie. This is this is what shit is leading to, bro. That's the just old sad. Dude siding with the old white redneck sure. and they're talking about yeah. joining teams. That's when you know everything is going Man, to go downhill and it's going to go downhill quick. Real. We all Wait, what? The old black dude siding with and over that shit leads to war. 100%. Like, when you have the old black dude siding we're taking over that shit. taking on. But look, every time some a country moves into another country, talk about we're taking over that shit leads to war. 100%. Like, when you have the old black dude siding with the old white redneck sure. and they're talking yeah. about joining teams that's when you know everything is going Man, to go downhill and it's going to go downhill quick. Real. we all know about about the uh about so she's saying when the rednecks 
like the niggas or, or they communicating about joining forces together, you know that everything is going to shit. Because they not supposed to like each other. They not supposed to fuck with each other for whatever reason is what she's saying. And if two enemies is coming together, you know it's going to shit. What? I've met, I've personally met a lot of redneck motherfuckers in Indiana that I was cool with. So oh, neo Nazis just a couple weeks ago yeah. going down, down, and uh, I ain't saying that it's right, and I ain't saying it's wrong. But look, let's think about it. I'm 36 years old, and in 36 years, that's the first time I've ever seen the neo Nazis rally in our in our city. My, My mom, mom was, was telling me she was coming home the other night and seeing a carload of clan members. Oh, oh, oh yeah. clan members. Yeah. What the fuck? They going crazy out there, bro. Yes. Oh, there's full-on war going down right now. That's what it's coming to. Okay. And yeah. it's all going to be against the same people. Yo quiero hablar. Bro, I feel like it's a it's a more civil way y'all could come to this stuff. Maybe, like, the government need to go in and, like, put, like, training courses or something. Like, they need to do something, bro. Like, I understand the frustration, but, man, people need to relax. contigo. Sobre, um, but I, then again, I can't even say that because I'm not dealing with what y'all dealing with. So I don't really know how y'all even taking it. So I apologize for that. I don't even know what y'all dealing with. Like, do say y'all getting your cars hit. You know what I'm saying? I know if you ain't got insurance, you just messed up. So I, I never mind. Let me mind my business and watch the video. Migración de muchas uh, Haitians a Springfield. Si ¿Sí posible? Sí, no. ¿De dónde eres? Haití. Haití. Okay. ¿Cuántos meses vive aquí? Mm, un mes. Uh, ¿Qué es la razón uh, que vive aquí? No, yo no vivo por acá, por acá. Yo tengo sobrino que vive ahí. Yo voy a visitar. Uh, okay. ¿Visitan? ¿Cuántos dólares tú recibes uh, cada mes del gobierno? No, todavía porque yo tengo el proceso, pero no me manda todavía. Estoy aquí. Oh, ¿Nada? No, ¿Nada? ¿Nada? ¿Cómo es posible que vive en las casas con nada de dinero? That's his house, man. He just said that. Aquí yo no sabe nada. Yo vine a visitar a una persona. Ah, yo no vivo okay. acá. Okay. What? What? <laughs> He just said this ain't. I, I, I come. I come to visit, bro. He just said it. Que por qué tú maneja el coche con mucho rápido? No fui yo que estaba manejando. <laughs> mucho rápido en en no, esa street. Yes. No estaba manejando en mi primo. Ah, okay. Es es cierto que personas comen los gatos o no? No sé. No, okay. Lo siento. Uh, gracias por tu tiempo. I'm trying to interview locals out here and hear their thoughts about the Haitians that have moved in. Yeah. No. I don't. I don't know. I might. I. I lived here for 24 years. Yeah. I lived in LA for 38 years. Got it. Um, it is causing probably some problems. Uh, I personally noticed it because it took me months on end to find an apartment to live in. Sure. So the available housing supply has gone down and the prices have gone up or what? Uh, I'm not 100% sure about the prices going up. I mean, I hear rumors that there's landlords ripping off some of the sure. Haitian people, you know, like trying to put multiple families in a house and charging them too much money. But I don't Ah, oh, that's, that's crazy slumlords, bro. I don't know if that's true. It's just stuff I've heard. But yeah, it has affected the, the market because, you know, like I said, I couldn't even get anybody to call me back for months. Couldn't tell you. I haven't had any mm. problems with anybody. I can tell you that. Again, no cat eating. I <laughs> no cat eating. First person I didn't see other than a Haitian that said they don't do that. How you doing, sir? <laughs> What's your name? Pavon. I own Pavon. This. Oh, you own this? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be a great person to talk to, though. Yeah, for sure. We've heard a lot of uh, the Haitians that have moved here recently come here often. Yeah. What's going on here in Springfield? Uh, There's just like an influx of the population in the Haitian community. I mean, they're protected status here. So they're okay. just like, I mean, obviously I've filled up the town with it. And yeah, that's where we're at right now, okay. pretty so much. So you own this laundromat? Yeah, so my dad owns this laundromat. I own the sneaker store next to it. So I run both things right now. Okay. So yeah. Are your customers fire. primarily Haitian? What's uh, the split? Hey, owning a laundromat, that's... <laughs> Great money. Uh, before, I would say the last like two, three years, I mean, primarily whoever was in town, okay. but yeah, there's a huge influx in yeah, the Haitian community that's like primarily our like customers like nowadays. So yeah, I will say there's 100% a divide in our town. Thing is like, I just hope that whatever you guys do cover, something good comes out of it, right? Like in the next five to six years, hopefully there's some sort of unity between everybody. 
Oh, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's a more civil way you can come to an agreement than to just go to war, bro. Like, like, so there's some sort of change. That's the biggest thing. Like, I feel like you guys should cover just yeah. some sort of like way to bring people together. This is the guy. Thank you. Want you. To talk to. How you doing, man? We're you filming a guy? YouTube video. We're, we're trying to see what's going on here. This is a guy. Big oh, wait, guy you running YouTube. for mayor? Oh yeah, I tried to find you. I know, I know who you are. So out of pure luck, I met up with Anthony Harris, the guy who went viral for giving this speech at Springfield's town hall. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They flipping cars in the middle of the street. Oh They're shit. They're in the park, grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them like. And who's been going live on Facebook, documenting the constant car crashes from the new Haitian drivers. Damn. So you got to think about it, bro. Times is so hard. You know, motherfuckers just be skating alone, no insurance, you know, like, fucking, I'm just going to drive. Careful type shit. And then you got motherfuckers flying through the red light, smacking you, bro. No car for months and months. EMV to see how the Haitians are getting driver's licenses and cars so quickly after moving here, despite speaking zero English. Question for y'all. What are your thoughts on the Haitians? Oh, they can't drive? This guy right here, my Haitian dude. Yo, yo, bonjour. Yo, yo, bonjour. Stop! Wait, no, he didn't. Ah, oh, yes, he did. <laughs> yo, bonjour. We got a cat right beside him. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this nigga buddy is here. You said that shit. Not me. You take that back. I didn't do shit. I tell you, bro. Come on, bro. We're like, we're like, we be playing, bro. There's nothing wrong with some joke. Let's go see what's up. Facts, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with a little joke, joke, man. Everybody relax. How y'all doing? Question for you. That's funny, you know bro. How the Haitians are getting driver's license. Can they transfer their license from Haiti or? No, they cannot. Transfer. Do they have to undergo the same test? Um, I'm not allowed to answer the personal questions outside of that. Well, okay. You know what they have to do? I do not. I okay. really don't know. No, but I know they're getting them quick. They're getting them quick, right? Bro, because, man, it at least take you at least, what? Well, they've been there for a while. Two months, you can get your license. I, we asked. That is sir, you are not allowed to take pictures in here, sir. Sir. In the, uh, oh, oh go inside? Sorry. What, what? Are they able to transfer their licenses from Haiti to here? No, not without taking tests. But that's okay. the only question I can answer. I can't answer anything else. Do you know how the Haitians are getting their driver's license so fast? Uh, I do not. Okay. All right, that's all I got for you. I wish I knew. Uh, are they driving pretty good out here or what? No. No? I do not. They put their car in. Why is that, do you think? They don't know how to drive in general. Okay. Like they're. Like I see them driving over there, like. So you got, cause you got to think about it, bro. In the U.S., we get trained to drive as teenagers, some younger than that. You know what I'm saying? We growing up, learning how to drive from friends or you know cousins, whoever. You know what I'm saying? They didn't get that luxury, so it's still new to them. I don't know why they getting driver's license. You know they shouldn't, but it is what it is. I ain't like trying to learn how to drive, but I don't know. Think they have to drive at all? Okay. We don't even think they should have license. No lights when they be driving around. No nothing. Do you think it poses a threat to public safety? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, man, it's nothing but a headache. All they're doing is raising our rent and our taxes and and wrecking vehicles and there's just been nothing but a hassle since they've been here. It's been yeah. horrible. How would you rank their driving from one one to ten? Uh, a negative ten. They're horrible. <laughs> Do you have to take a driving test here? We. Oui? Ah, I spent it all. See, como es posible que recibir tu licencio muy rápido? No, es que por ahora no sé. Es que lo que lo que necesito viene acá va a preguntar por la información. Okay. Okay. All right. Gracias. Oh, with more confusion game than answers, explaining how these Haitians are passing their driver's tests, I headed down. Damn. Through the wall to the Springfield Welfare hey. Center, where Haitians are apparently clogging the lines for locals, exhausting the town's resources, and overwhelming the employees. Question: Where are you guys from? Haiti. Haiti. You gotta think about it though. They probably out there at fucking 10 p.m. Gang of them <laughs> waiting until the morning. You think you finna wake up at four o'clock in the morning and go stand in line? It's 
all the way to Walgreens, nigga. <laughs> That's okay. not funny, bro. Uh, but how damn. many Haitians do you think will come out here in line today? That's what we're trying to. I'll say eighty percent of the people that come out here will be Haitian. Okay. How long you been here in Springfield? I've been here for <clears throat> seven years now. What takes so long? Yeah. Is because they've got only two lines that they serve people in in there sometimes three and on all three of those they got interpreters for each one right when it'll go a lot faster if you had one line for for people that like couldn't you know speak english that well yeah. and then have another line for people Dude, that who can, can speak go english the line faster uh-huh because a lot of times they'll have paperwork with them and stuff they won't have it in order we tried the uh, split line for a while. Um, it ended up being less efficient for everybody. Yeah. Um, is this about as long as it gets these days? Uh, this is a normal Monday. Yeah, we've had worse. But France, Francois? English? <coughs> Standing in line 30 minutes, they might only just serve four or five people. Got it. How many people do you think will come Damn. here this Monday? This Monday? Yeah. I'm telling you, out of this Monday, I figure at least they might see five, honey. What do you think the split is between uh, the nations that have come in here? Ah, uh, honey. <laughs> and and um, Springfield being OGs, if you will. <laughs> um, I don't know too much about all uh, observationally. What have you seen? <laughs> Nine to one, easy. Nine. Like, Damn. I'm just here because. <laughs> and, and five, honey. What do you think the split is between uh, new Haitians that have come in here and and um, Springfield and OGs, if you will? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know too much about all uh, observationally. What have you seen? <laughs> Nine to one, easy. Damn, Black. swarming them every what? Nine to one? Hey, I'm just here because I'm just trying to get a, a Nine get to one a clear is medical tough. Bar. Are the systems stressed right now in Springfield? Can they handle the amount of people no, coming in? No, they really can't. I've been trying to get a medical, just a simple Medicaid card since June. They took me off, of, I'm a vet. They took me off of the disability and made me start paying for my own disability. And I don't know why they took me off. But So I had to give them proof of income and disabilities and stuff. I gave Damn. them all that. They still ain't did nothing. So you're a veteran and you're competing with some of the resources they're getting? Yeah. Who just came in here? Yeah. Yeah. Every this America. Ah, uh, that's the shit I don't like, bro. Third is country, bro, and can't even get you you know his disability. But I'm saying that the 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 things that the hoops they make us jump through can have you turn on each other in a sense or yeah. say negative things. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything that's negative to say or bad to say about anybody Haitian. You sure. know what I mean? Do you think the town's taking care of? Uh, exactly but that's what they want though that's the thing they want to do this division bro that's what they want to do your local residents they want to start this shit up bro first and foremost oh no hell no well thanks for your service yeah appreciate it good luck in line like and the thing is there's people there's people on it's crazy though because they know how people was thinking bro you don't don't ever think that they not watching they not listening bro they know Twitter and Instagram that don't think it's real. Like, yeah. Don't think none of this we shit just, is real. We just saw it in real time. They're like, none of that shit's real that you're saying. There's no way they brought 20,000 people. Uh, English? No. No? No English? Okay. That's crazy. If you're a local trying to get your Medicaid, your welfare benefits, etc., you're waiting two hours now. Crazy? Crazy as fuck. Well, we're six minutes away from this He said they gave them 20,000. House. This woman has stated that people are throwing mattresses on her joint. She is not expecting us. I am just going to show up and knock on her door and see what happens. Hi there. I saw your um, speech at the city council and I was wondering if I could interview you. you know, well, I've seen a video of a guy getting a Canadian goose, a Haitian dude, and I have rumors of Haitians Damn. taking cats. Tell me what's going on here. I, I'm cat lady, as okay. you can tell. You have a lot of cats. Yeah, I have a lot of cats. The goose story, I believe originated in columbus i have not seen it okay. here and just for context you are surrounded thank you thank you he said it's not even happening where we at 
this entire community mm -hmm. mostly Haitians now? Yeah, I believe we're looking at probably about 50% okay. is what I'm saying. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. My town is going to pot. Everybody wants to make this into a race issue. It's not a race issue. It's, it's culture, it's accountability, and it's respect. And yes, it's mainly culture, though. It's, it's that, that's mainly what it is, bro. Y'all, the y like, they need to set up some stuff that can transition them into being an American. For real. That's what they need. They need some type of training program or something to transition them in. And that's the things that I'm not seeing. And the women in this country have fought long and hard for the rights that they have been afforded. And these men in this culture treat their women very badly, and I watch it firsthand. Come on, give me a break. Start acting like you got some sense. Your driving of the vehicles is a main sticking point. Haitian men came down with probably a queen size mattress and threw it in the front yard. Okay. It didn't go very well. I tried to explain. I tried to be nice. Didn't go very well. So and you explained in English? Yes. I had to drop the F-bomb and told them take it and go. So they went down the street and ended up at that house right there. Got it. So it's they've thrown trash in the yard as they walk by. I, I'm done. I'm tired of dealing with the disrespect i've never been you gotta think about it though like y'all y'all got a language barrier right there right so boom now they probably used to just going through walking eating throwing their shit on the floor it's gonna get lost in the dirt or whatever you know what i'm saying they might be used to that type of stuff so of course it's so still gonna be that in my life and my ex-husband has never barrier. disrespected me like this. They're not prosecuting for the property crimes, and it's just, it's a big mess, and we need some help. I want my city back. I want my people happy, and this is my town. I want to take it back. Do you think the Haitians here are Change. trying to assimilate to the culture and the town you grew up in? No, I, I don't I don't see it. If it is, more power to it. Of course, they can't, though. Like, ain't, like they ain't got the chance to. They can't end up work, so they just working and just living and doing stuff. But it, there's a language barrier. I get it. Yes. Okay, but when they are paroled here on the I-94, they get eight months of English lessons, the first eight months. Okay. If they're not taking advantage of that, then why should we, the taxpayer, have to turn around and have our services overwhelmed? They're saying 20... You're talking about eight months to learn the hardest or one of the hardest languages in the world. That's not enough time, bro. Yo, kid, ain't, ain't no kid, ain't no baby learning English in eight months, bro. So come on 30, now. And I am saying between 35 and 40 with the birth rates and the things that I see going on. So I don't know who's to blame. I don't know whose door to start kicking in. Mike DeWine, if you see this, <laughs> Mike DeWine, get a hold of me. I really would like to have a word with you. And I promise I won't yell at you. Somebody get a hold of me. I don't care who get a hold of me. I need some solutions. I'm losing my mind. Mm.